Hi everyone, welcome back to this series of market research using the powerful tool AmiBroker. This one is really, really interesting and it showcases the power of money management and position sizing in your trading. A few weeks ago, this came across my Twitter feed. It's by Larry Tentarelli, great guy and a really, really great guy to follow on Twitter as well. Um, he says, there's no holy grail of entry signals. A profitable system can be created using tr random entries with excellent money management and position sizing. Um, then he did also go on to say to Google, Tom Basso coin flip. So that actually came from Van Tharp, trade your way to uh, financial freedom. So I did Google that and um, the first thing that comes up is uh, just a post on Forex Factory. And uh, he, he basically outlines the, the rules of this system where we enter on a random entry, so any random entry, um, and then we exit on an average true range um, stop, which is an average true range of the last 10 days, so three times that as our trailing stop loss. Now they also used a 1% risk model for the position sizing system, meaning between the entry and the stop loss, um, they were risking 1% of their overall equity. And that would reduce if they lost money and that would increase if they made money. So it, you know that's called fixed fractional position sizing, very, very common um, in the trading world. So I thought this is really, really interesting. What if this is true? There's only one way to find out and that's to validate it with actual data. So what I've done is I've just coded this up in AmiBroker. If I edit this formula, um, it's not too big. Uh, I've got it here, you know, I've got a Monte Carlo test of a thousand different runs randomly and we're entering randomly. So you can see as well, if I refresh this page, what it actually does, it's taking different random entries every single time. So that's the way that I've set it up. Um, to do that is not too hard, so even a guy like me can get it. <laughs> I figure if I can get it, then someone else can get it as well. Um, I've just set up random, um, multiplied that by 10, and then I've taken a long trade if that value is above five, and a short trade if that value is below five. So in other words, uh, th that random value is between zero and one, when we multiply it by 10, it becomes between zero and 10. So yeah, that, that's the long and the short of it. Um, and then we set up the trailing stop, as you can see on the chart here. And that does work the same for, um, for short trades, as you can see here as well. So to do the test, all I had to do was go to our analysis window. Um, I selected the, the, uh, the universe of stocks. Uh, for me personally, I did try this on the Australian market um, with the delisted stocks as well from 2000 to 2015. Um, as I said, I took portfolios of 15 stocks each time and I did a thousand random runs of each test that I did. So look, looking at that, it's very easy to do. Ami Broker gives you a bit of a warning and then it comes up. It takes probably about 15 minutes um, once all is said and done to for that to actually go through all of those things. But I wanted to, to make sure that we that we were actually getting better results than buy and hold. So here's what we came up with. First of all, the buy and hold results. So do, just doing a random buy and hold um, from 2000 to 2015 of 15 random stocks from start to finish, uh, the most common results we had were 6% or 7% per annum and 13% per annum. Now this is what they call a binomial um, histogram, I think it's called, or a binomial distribution in statistics. Um, obviously I'm not a great mathematician. I try to get by where I can. But what this means is ideally we'd be looking for one you know, solid bell curve where there's just one most common result. But as it's our random entry and it's buy and hold, then we're just going to have to go with that for now. Also, the, um, here's the drawdown on the left hand side here. And um, as you can see, the maximum drawdown ranged from 30% up to 90%. Um, and the annual returns along the top ranged from, you know, one to 2% up to 18% with the most common being six and 13 there. So that's our buy and hold. That's what we're comparing this to. So let's have a look and see if, um, if we can actually do any better when we add the appropriate code. So simply by adding in the stop loss, and just regular money management. So this is not this is not the fixed fractional money management. This is just taking 15 positions with equal percentages in each. Um, so it might be around 7% per stock. Um, so nothing too fancy at any one time. Let's check out the results. 
Here's the histogram. In other words, this is the, the, the amount of our thousand runs. So of all of our thousand runs, we've got you know, the frequency of these annual returns down the bottom. So it ranged from 5% per annum all the way up to about 20 to 21% per annum, with the most common result being 12% per annum. So already it actually has improved even just using a random entry and a normal, you know, with the average true range or the chandelier stop loss and with normal position sizing. Now keep in mind if we've got 15 positions in each in each test and we've done a thousand tests, that's 15,000 signals individually that we're getting this data from. Um, so, you know, that's a fair amount and it's great that Emmy Broker can tackle that in just a few minutes. It's absolutely fantastic. But can we improve it further? So what we have next, if we were using fixed fractional position sizing, then in a lot of cases we might run out of money before we run out of uh, or run out of capital to use before we run out of positions that we can take. So we might never get to our 15 positions. In other words, we would have to use leverage. So the next test I did was just using the same normal money management, so 15 positions with equal percentages in each, but I used two times our money. So 50 so 50% 50 of our capital and 50% of borrowed money or 100% on our capital. These were the results. So we had uh, a, an increase in the in the range of results we've got from about seven percent per annum all the way up to about 35 to 36 percent per annum with the most common result being around 21 percent per annum so even though the range is way too big because you know there's a good there's still a chance that you might get one of these low percentage returns even though you might also get one of these high percentage returns uh, and you know the mode or the most common result being 20%, you know, that does look good as well. But you have to consider that range is way too big for most people to trade. It's not really a good sign of a good trading system if it's got a huge range of results. Although we are entering on a random entry, so, you know, I guess that's what to be expected as well. Our drawdown for this particular trading system, when we doubled our, our money or our leverage, um, then we've got 70% drawdown to 90% drawdown, uh, ne nearly 100% in some cases. That would be really, really difficult to stomach for any trader, I think. I doubt anyone would be able to, to go through that. Um, however, obviously, overall, it's made money because we've got 20% per annum on average um, being the most common result. So now the last one that we're going to look at is the fixed fractional position sizing. Uh, so that's that Van Tharp method. Uh, it's really cool. I have done a video on that and how to how to put that into Ami Broker as well. It's absolutely fantastic. Please check it out at my website. It's asxmarketwatch.com. But let's see if we can actually improve on this on this drawdown of 70% to 90%. Here is the fixed fractional results. So first of all. Um, we do have a slight increase in the range as well, and even an increase in the most common result. So we've got about 23% per annum being the most common result. Still a really wide range of about um, oh, from 0.1% 1, or 1% 1 all the way up to about 45 to 46% per annum. Uh, so a really wide range. There, there are the outliers there. The most common being 10% to about 30%. Uh, now the drawdowns, so the drawdowns are still quite prominent. We had between 70% and 90% just for normal, um, just for our normal position sizing with an equal amount in each stock before. Uh, and this one, really not too much has changed. We've got a little bit less, about 60, now it's between 60% drawdown to still over 90% drawdown as the maximum drawdown. So it looks like using a, a stop loss or a volatility adjusted stop loss like the ATR stop that we've got there um, can actually improve the performance. However, the fixed fractional position sizing doesn't, looks like it doesn't actually do that much when compared to just normal position sizing um, that we've got in this particular one here. Overall, I found that really, really interesting and it really does show that you can actually enter randomly. We literally coded in the dartboard approach, you could say, and then just using a, a normal stop loss, we did increase our results significantly. Um, and it was good to see the differences in that position sizing as well. This is the power of the stuff that you can do with a simple program like AmiBroker and a little bit of code. You can get the actual results from real data. And this is the most important thing when you're validating something, especially if you're looking at using it in your own trading or investing. Guys, I hope this has helped you in some small way. 
please stop by the website, it's asxmarketwatch.com. There's a whole bunch of free courses there, more free Emmy Broker videos as well. Um, it's absolutely fantastic, it'd be great to have you there. And happy trending until we meet again. Have a great week. Bye for now.